Donald Triumph and the Great Lefty Caper. In the bustling metropolis of Liberty Heights, the skyline was dominated by the gleaming Tower of Triumph. This was the headquarters of Donald Triumph, the fearless and ever-confident hero whose golden hair and bold persona were known far and wide. His mission, to protect the city from all threats, no matter how absurd. Cheeky beginning. One sunny morning, Donald Triumph stood on the balcony of his tower, gazing out over the city with a smug smile. Another beautiful day in Liberty Heights, where freedom reigns and common sense prevails, he declared to himself. But all was not well. In the shadowy corners of the city, a group known as the Lefty League was hatching a plan. Led by the perpetually indignant Professor Virtue, the Lefty League was determined to bring about change. The kind that involved endless regulations and safe spaces for all. The diabolical plot. In a hidden basement filled with protest posters and beanbag chairs, Professor Virtue addressed his team. Today we unveil our greatest plan yet, Operation Sensitivity. We will make Liberty Heights the most regulated, feelings-first city in the world. No more mean tweets. No more freedom of expression that offends anyone. The Lefty League cheered, their faces lit by the glow of their organic soy lattes. Among them were Captain Safe Space with his padded suit and noise, canceling headphones, and the woke warrior who could cancel anyone with a single tweet. The intervention of Donald Triumph, word of the Lefty League's plot, soon reached the sharp ears of Donald Triumph, thanks to his loyal sidekick, Liberty Lass, who had infiltrated their ranks with her impeccable undercover skills. She reported back to Triumph, detailing the League's ludicrous plans. Donald, they're planning to outlaw anything that might be considered offensive, Liberty Lass exclaimed. Triumph's eyes twinkled with mischief. Well, we can't have that, can we? It's time to teach the Lefty League a lesson in good old-fashioned common sense. The Great Debate. Donald Triumph, armed with a microphone and a truckload of logic, marched to the heart of the city where the Lefty League was setting up their grand stage. The citizens gathered, eager to see what Triumph had in store. Professor Virtue took the stage first, speaking passionately about the need for a kinder, gentler society where everyone's feelings were protected. But before he could finish, Triumph bounded onto the stage, microphone in hand. Hold on there, Professor. You know what's really kind and gentle? Letting people speak their minds without fear of being cancelled. Triumph declared, his voice booming. The crowd cheered, and Professor Virtue's face turned beet red. But, but, words can hurt, he stammered. Triumph nodded sympathetically. True, but overregulation hurts even more. It stifles innovation, creativity, and most importantly, good old-fashioned fun. The epic showdown. The woke warrior stepped forward, his fingers poised to type a cancelling tweet. You'll regret this, Triumph, he sneered. But Triumph was ready. With a flourish, he produced a mirror, reflecting the woke warrior's tweet back at him. The woke warrior gasped as his own words cancelled him, rendering him powerless. Captain Safe Space tried to intervene, but Liberty Lass activated her reality check device, causing Captain Safe Space to flee in terror from the overwhelming presence of real world issues. Triumphant victory. With the Lefty League in disarray, Triumph took the microphone once more. Liberty Heights will remain a place where freedom of speech and personal responsibility are valued. Let's celebrate our differences and have some healthy debates, but let's not lose our sense of humor or common sense. 
The crowd erupted in applause, and even some members of the Lefty League found themselves nodding reluctantly. Cheeky ending. As the sun set over Liberty Heights, Donald Triumph and Liberty Lass returned to the Tower of Triumph, their mission accomplished. Triumph leaned back in his chair, feet up on the desk, and grinned. Another day saved by logic, reason, and a good dose of cheekiness, Liberty Lass smiled. And plenty of common sense, Donald. That too, he agreed, chuckling. Now, let's see what else we can do to keep the city free and fabulous. And so, Liberty Heights continued to thrive. A beacon of freedom and cheeky common sense in a world that often took itself far too seriously.